folks, in this video, we're going to see how to make these little customized read more links. And when one of your readers clicks them, it'll go right through to the post and this little link will vanish. So you'll just see the blog post as usual. These are great on the home page. I'll show you how to make them say whatever you want to entice someone to read your entire post. And they're also the foundation for making more fancy sort of links and buttons like these little arrows or maybe these read more buttons over here. So I'm just going to show you how to set up these links, but if you want to make something more fancy, then go ahead and drop me a comment and I'll help you do just that. All right, so let's get started. Let's just open up any blog post like this one. We can use our continue reading button, which disappears, and we have the blog post. To put that button in, or rather that link on the home page, you need to add this code right here. And it's just this that I've highlighted right there. All right, so you want to write out an alligator, an exclamation mark, two dashes, followed by the word more, and then whatever text you want, that looks good. And then you want to follow it up with two more dashes and a closing alligator. This snippet of code is actually all you need, and it's really just a bunch of text with some, some minor symbols in there. Make sure you have the spacing between these parts and what you want someone to click on in the middle. And of course, you could write whatever you want here, like keep going or finish reading. You can also add a symbol here. So I'm going to add the rack quote like that, a rack quote. And uh, that's just spelled like that. Racco is that symbol. But you can put whatever you want. All right. So that's looking pretty good. We could also make this go off to the right, like I've done on my home page, by writing a paragraph style. All right. Once you write that, you can write the text align little selector, which is CSS and we can align it to the right. All right, make sure to close that off and then close it with the paragraph tag. And then of course, if you're a web designer, you can go ahead and put in more code right here and that will make this link look however you want and you can make it look fancy like a button like this. All right, however, I'm guessing you're not a web designer if you're watching this video. So go ahead and post a comment if you want any help making your link look more fancy. Speaking of the link, let's see what we just made. All right, so we're actually going to say read more and then update. And then we're going to look at this 33 blogging videos and counting post on the home page. And there we go. We have our nice customized read more link with the exact wording we want floated to the right. Now, you might be wondering how these links work and direct someone to the unique post because we didn't really write too much complicated code in there and we didn't even make an actual link like you would put in your blog post. So, the way this works is if you look in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, when I hover over this, all we need to have is the blog post link followed by a pound sign the word more, a dash, and then that five digit number which is actually the post ID. So we can try out a different one and it'll look the same way. What this nifty link does is appends or adds that pound sign and the rest of that onto the end of a blog post link. And that tells WordPress to open the post and go to the point where you inserted this link. So we can try this link for an example, just to see where this link takes us exactly in the post. And keep in mind that it's inserted right after this text, right after explaining exactly what happened. So we'll click that. And then we'll see the link drops us in right here. So we can start reading at the top of our screen right there. And it's actually one line, you know, off. So here is where the link would have been inserted 
sort of right here, right below this sentence, and then it takes us right to this point. So, literally, it will help someone get to the next part of the post and literally continue reading wherever you want and wherever you insert this link in your post. All right, as usual, if you have any questions, just post a comment. And I want to say thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.